I had asked you a question. Was it a good idea to customize a Dodge Challenger Hellcat? There were some people who right away start criticizing the shit that I say, and they said, oh yeah, well, you, you should customize as soon as you get. L listen, this is one of those cars where it's a collector car. If you modify this car heavily, you're gonna end up in a situation where, you know, it, it, I don't know how many of you actually, you know, like the idea of keeping car stock and keeping them in the garage. Now granted, you're gonna drive this car. The thing about it is, if you start heavily modifying these cars, they obviously are gonna lose their value because if you ever tried to sell one of these things, like on a concourse to Oligons, what would end up happening is you'd have lost a lot of value because it, it just isn't worth what it was when you didn't modify it. I'm all about OEM in certain cars, but this is what the project looks like thus far. So you've got a 1,000 watt amplifier, four channels, got mono D-class amplifiers, all this shit running off of this battery. What is some good ten, yeah, yeah, good looking shit. So as you can see, this is a really good yeah. custom build. Yeah, I was just... If you have this kind of car, you can get these enclosures custom made into your car. They sell them on eBay, actually. You can get them carpeted, and you can get the uh, wiring and everything tuned and whatnot. But uh, thus far, it looks fantastic.